In this video, we are going to briefly go through the parts that make up an LED bulb. It's not too complicated to list and describe what each part does, but at the same time, as this is an introduction series, you definitely won't be able to build your own by the end of it. Okay, so let's look at a few different LED bulbs up close and see what they're made of. No matter what type of LED bulb, they all share the same basic components. The base. Although the base might be different depending on what type of regular light bulb to be replaced, the base for all LED bulbs will take in the raw electricity into the bulb. Fortunately, the bases for all light bulbs are designed to fit most standard types of light fittings. Next is the LED driver. This is something you won't see from the outside of the bulb. It is housed inside and away from harm because the base feeds the raw electricity of 120 volt AC and then converts it to a lower DC electricity specially designated by the LED chip maker. The voltage and the current have to be within a tight window in order for the LED chip to work. Note, unlike all other LED bulbs, MR16s with the bi-pin base are just too small to have the driver in the base. So just like their incandescent halogen MR16 cousin, the driver or transformer is a separate component and usually tucked up inside the ceiling. The next component that all LED bulbs share is the heatsink, usually made of aluminum, which makes up the body of the LED bulb. Unlike the glass bulb that a regular incandescent bulb has, the LED heatsink is definitely not empty. While it is cut in a similar shape to resemble an older bulb type, the heatsink has these little fins that take in small amounts of natural air to flow around the LED bulb and by way of convection draw the heat generated by the LED chip away and into the air. Aluminum is the preferred material because it has good conductive qualities when it comes to heat. Now while LED bulbs that are operating are regarded as being cool to the touch, maybe only reaching about 100 degrees Fahrenheit max, the fact is that LED chips prefer operating as cool as possible. And the purpose of the heatsink is just that. In the design process, the operating temperature of the LED chip is closely monitored to make sure it doesn't reach temperatures outside the manufacturer's limit. This brings us to the next component in an LED bulb, the LED chip. The LED chip is mounted to the surface of the heatsink. They all look more or less like a little yellow mound with varying sizes. The LED chip takes the very specific electrical current offered by the LED driver in the base and voila, you have light. And a lot of it considering how small these little chips are. There is usually some kind of cover or lens for the LED chip. This LED A19 has a simple frosted dome because the light that comes out doesn't need any real change. But for other types of light bulbs like MR16s or PAR series bulbs, the original reflector that was used to focus the light is now replaced by a lens. One of the great things about LED chips is they are really small and relatively cool, which means that covering them with a lens is possible. And these are no ordinary lens. With the design of engineers, they take the light coming out of the LED chip and focus them into some very accurate beams. Very little light is lost and little heat is wasted as the efficient lens bend the light to offer the consumer unparalleled choice over the type of light spread and beam angle. For more on choosing the right beam angle, check out part 9 in our series. Other than that, really there is just a bit of electrical wiring and a few screws that connect it all together. That's it for this video, see you in the next one.